Hey there Leo, welcome to your weekly tarot reading for October 9th through to the 15th. Let's jump on in and see what's on the cards for you. Before I do though Leo, if you wouldn't mind doing me a favour, hitting that like button, you might want to leave me a comment and please do hit subscribe if you enjoy my readings. That's what keeps them coming and when you do leave me a comment we make an energetic connection which makes it a lot easier for me to read for my collective but also I love getting to know you as you do know if you comment I do reply to pretty much all of my comments as uh, as I can which is most of the time um, it helps me get to know you and over the years I've been doing this I've really gotten to see how your lives have been playing out so it's really uh, really special very special to see that so that would be amazing now, if you'd like a personal reading at any time, the first link down below will take you to my website. You can check out what I offer. I do also have a freebie, a free Learn Tarot Quick Guide if you'd like to get started reading the cards for yourself. Uh, if you'd like to take things deeper with your tarot practice, I have an immersive course called The Initiation. That is a paid course, but in that one you will uh, learn a full foundation in tarot as well as my signature process for putting it together and, and reading spreads and finding that story in the card and, and reading intuitively. So that one will allow you to read for yourself, family and friends and also maybe paid readings if you really have the calling to do this like I do. So that is there. Also my Karmic community which is my free email newsletter and my Instagram. I'm just as active and interactive over there as here. I uh, do daily readings, lots of other content over there, so I'd love to have you with me. Please do use the link down below, or if you're searching, look for the blue ticked account. It's my only account. I will never have a backup or anything like that, and there are multiple accounts with my name variations and also other people using my profile photos there's it's a it's a crazy thing and i've actually reported them all to instagram and they say they're not violating guidelines so if you see me somewhere else it's not my account guys and i'm not connected to it let's jump in leo my fave leos i do love my leos <laughs> all right i'm a fire sign too i'm an aries so leo i start this off with an oracle card and for you Leo, your hard work is paying off. New moon in Capricorn, yes. Capricorn energy, earthly, it's about our money, it's about our assets, it's about our resources, our work, our home, our business. And you, Leo, have been working hard in one of those areas and it's paying off. It's opening new doors for you. New moon energy. Might be dealing with a Capricorn, but let's not forget that the Capricorn energy links to the devil. Maybe you're overcoming a, a debt, you know, paying something off, something significant. Uh, maybe there's been a block, you know, a block on this or something within yourself. You've danced with the devil, you've refocused, you're working hard, it's paying off, you're opening new doors. Okay, Major Arcana incoming. I've got just the 22 cards here. Let's see what you're working with as it pertains to your hard work paying off Leo the Hermit. So what I see in this card is somebody who's coming out of a dark place and about to cross the threshold into the light. So it feels like you've been working hard, squirreling away, saving, or maybe you haven't been able to make moves, right? You've been in the cave and now you can see the light at the end of the tunnel like you're really close to something like I said you could be you know paying off a significant debt or something or your hard work is about to open a door for you and I think intuitively you can find you can feel that so this is a really long energy for me like nine months or nine years and now we have the shift coming in and maybe during this process you've sort of felt a little bit alone in it or a bit lost it's all going to change. So your hard work is paying off. There's light at the end of the tunnel and you're about to cross an important threshold, Leo. Okay, I'll be reading pairs of cards. The card I pull and the bottom of the deck energy for each aspect. First aspect is your situational energy. Leo, it's your card in the minor arcana and judgment. Wow, okay. So... Judgment also shows somebody who is resurrecting themselves, is freeing or liberating from a small, dark, constrictive space. We see it in this card. We see the darkness and the illumination in this card as well. So finally, you're getting free of something, okay? Something that's held you back, something that's held you out of power. Now, 
Um, maybe you've been getting signs that you're close to something here. Maybe it's just been because of your hard work and the fact that you've been stepping into leadership. The King of Wands is you at your finest, Leo, right? It's you and your boss energy. It's you stepping up. It's you, you know, really making moves from a place of vision, a place of discernment and a place of power. Now, if you are in a situation right now, Leo, that you know is not serving you or is holding you back, it's time for you to make your move. Like checkmate, Leo, it is time. Okay, now that could look like a job that's, you know, just not getting you to where you want to go or has gone toxic. For some of you, it could be a relationship. For others of you, that small dark space represents that that debt you've been paying off or, you know, whatever, that, that in the cave energy could have been a bit of depression for some of you, but you are liberating when it's through stepping into your power, having the strength and courage and bravery to now move forward. And that's your Leo energy. All right, let's see if there's any further blocks, obstacles or challenges here, Leo. Oof, look at that. Empress and the Five of Cups, right? The Empress is coming to you. She's abundance, finally. She's growth. She's fertility. She's an incredible omen for money. But she comes in with the Five of Cups. So what I feel, Leo, is that you went through a significant loss or a disappointment around one of the areas that we've spoken about. You've been in a period of recovery, which has taken hard work, hard yakka is what we would say here in Australia, but you're getting to the end of that now. Make sure that you don't, you know, stay in that energy of whatever the sort of the depression, the worry that that has caused you. You can release that now. You lost your joy for a period of time. I don't think there's been any time for fun. I think it's been all hard work and no play. That is ending and there's actually new opportunities coming in now that your energy is freeing up and you're at that critical turning point. You're at that threshold. The Empress is coming in to weave some magic in your life. And this is like the energy of creation and rebirth and finally things growing and flourishing. Like you've been setting an important foundation, Leo, right? It really has been hard work that's paying off and it's in the right direction. Let's look at the advice for you. Didn't get much better than this, Leo. <laughs> Victory, Hierophant, Taurus energy coming through again, a number five. Change, change, things at the tipping point, critical turning point. Victory, victory finally. And I get the feeling that now you've got options, now that you're through this phase and you can actually start moving in new directions. That's your breakthrough. Notice the king's crown. It's because you've been acting from a place of leadership and maturity to really dig yourself out of this hole, whatever it was for you, right? But you're getting there. You're almost there. Now the Hierophant says that you've learned an important spiritual lesson here as well. The Hierophant is the spiritual teacher. But I also feel, because this can be... It's the Taurian energy, right? It's new stability. It's new contracts, new commitments. So I actually feel there's something new coming for you. Could be a new contract where you get to step up into leadership because of the hard work. Like you might have been finishing a, a, a course of study and you've had to work and study and maybe support family and you've been doing it all and you've been carrying the load and that is going to pay off big time. So I just see that this is going to really bring in some kind of beautiful win, right? You're at the critical turning point. And if you've still got a little bit to go, Leo, remember you're very, very close. So it's no time to, you know, give up. It's a time to, to keep pushing to the finish line. Yeah, I do feel it's around money, work, career. You're carving out that path. Another king here. But this is the king of transformation. And it feels like very soon, you know, there's going to be a new direction opening up. This is Aquarian energy coming through. And I feel that if you want me to put a time on it, I'm going to say, I'm going to say February because that's Aquarius season. 
by February, you are working in a new direction, you know, happy in your work, not having to push as much. That's where things are transformed, okay? That's where you have that Ace of Swords, that new direction, and you're using it, you know, you're owning it. Two kings, two kings. Yeah, and the moon and the three of pentacles, you might find yourself leading a team. Or at least, whatever it is that you've been wanting to create, it's taking form. I always say the three of pentacles is the earthly realization of the empress, and she is creation. She is your dream. She is your wish. And I just feel that that can happen, and that can actually take form. But it's not just through, like, magically appearing. It's through you know, talking to the right people, it's through the right opportunities, through the fact that finally you're in a position where you've got choices. So you could also be joining a new work team here. There's a new path that's yet to unfold for you that's starting to come into play. Pisces energy, February, March are so powerful for you. Now these readings, it's a weekly reading, that's when it resonates for you, but this is going to play out over those months. Things are, you know, that's where the hard work is is coming to an end and things are going to shift. And by, by March, I see that you are, have made a major step in a plan or something that you've wanted to build or you're actually working in a new team, leading a new team or there's a major milestone reached here, okay? Your intuition is telling you that and, you know, really, you just need to trust and believe, Leo. So incredible energy for you. Beginning of next year, first quarter are really, really powerful. So I'm going to leave it there, Leo. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you would like a personal reading to tune into your specific circumstances, do follow the first link down below if you'd like to check that out. Don't forget to like, share, comment, hit subscribe on your way out. That would be uh, wonderful. Much gratitude for you. For now, I'm sending so much love and magic. I will see you next time. Bye for now.